to the first episode of Comic Convo. It'll be me talking about comic books, the news, and reviewing books that I've been reading. So the first book that I'll be looking at today is The Invincible Iron Man, number 510, written by Matt Fraction, art by Salvador La Roca, I believe. This is the first post-Fear Itself Iron Man book, as shown with the new Shattered Heroes banner at the top there. A little bit better than the Fear Itself one we've been used to, but still not a fan of it. Well, we'll ignore that. So this book sees Split Lip, the dwarf, coming back from Asgard with Tony, and a bit about the Mandarin and Ezekiel Stain, which I'm enjoying. Not so keen on the dwarf aspect of it, but we'll see how that plays out. It might have something interesting down the line. However, the end with the Mandarin and what he's seemingly plotting for the future has interesting ramifications surrounded it, so... We'll see where that goes. So, it's better than the book's been for a while with the Fear Itself tie-ins, which out of all the tie-ins I felt were the best, but Fear Itself was, well, it wasn't the best. If you know anything about Fear Itself and you've read it, then you know it's not particularly great, but this seems to be going in a new direction and Matt Fraction I've enjoyed in the past on this, so hopefully he'll bring it back to something enjoyable. Second on my list of books this week is Sweet Tooth number 27. Now I only got into Sweet Tooth recently in the last year or so and I bought all the back issues and it's a brilliant book. I mean I know I've been told how good it is and I was like oh, okay I'll try check it out but it is absolutely amazing. First off I was sold on the cover of this one this is it's beautiful. This story takes place outside the main story, it's like before uh, we meet the main characters, Sweet Tooth and Jeopard, but it seems to tie in elements that have been going through the story throughout. So um, yeah, this is a good book, probably not recommended to anyone who hasn't been reading Sweet Tooth, but if you have, it's brilliant and you know it's brilliant, so that's fine, but if you know people who might be interested in it, because it's not the typical comic book sort of stuff it's it's a brilliant book and i would recommend it to anyone to read and finally a uh, surprise one is issue one of images new mud man and this is written and drawn by paul grist i believe yeah paul grist so there you go now i really enjoyed this book obviously being from england it has some sort of elements of that school life etc in it and the art isn't fantastic, but it's good. I enjoy it for what it is. Interesting seeing the lettering in this, because it's not the, your typical comic book lettering, which is nice, it's different. It's played out differently to most comic books, which is nice to see. But what I really enjoy is the inside of the cover is a letter from Paul Grist to the readers. And reading that really made me appreciate the comic more because of what he says and how he feels about comics and that I find more interesting than reading the book which is sad because it's a good book anyway but that really sold me on his world and wanted to invest in it a bit more so I'll pick this up again next next month when it comes out number two but we'll see how it goes from there if he's still capturing my attention with his storytelling as opposed to his enthusiasm and love for comics which obviously we all share. Yeah, that's the three, three issues I own highlighting this week, I guess. So that's uh, Invincible Iron Man, 510, Sweet Tooth, number 27, and Mudman, number one. I'm aware that these books have been out for a while, and I'm doing this. So there's a, I've got a bit of a back catalogue to do every week. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and it gives you a bit of an idea of what to read. So if you are reading these books, tell me what you think, what you like about them, what you don't. If you agree with me, if you're loving Sweet Tooth, if Iron Man's back on track for you, and if anyone's read Mud Man, I'd be very interested to see. Thanks again, and I'll see you maybe next week, maybe two weeks. I haven't figured out how my schedule is going to work out with this, but um, until then, goodbye.